Hello everyone, it's Monday the 12th of December 2022 and uh, as you can see I've got the tree all beautifully lit from the top half anyway I'll show you it in more detail in a minute so um, as far as the tree goes I have ordered some new lights I think I mentioned in uh, one of my advent videos um, so just a set of 2000 which is more than enough for this tree a thousand is okay um, but I just can't be bothered to take everything off because I will have to take everything off the tree in order to uh, spread out the lights I've got on so I'm just, <laughs> just leaving it from outside if someone was to peer through the Venetian blinds it does look you can see you know the tree looks fully lit it's only when you get below and it looks a little bit odd so here's the tree much the same really as every year I've got my little Merry Christmas Scrabble ornament several of my Nutcracker chappies and uh, drums I've got a bit of a musical theme as well I've got drums French horns uh, smaller drums and I've got notes treble clefts and whatever clefts double cleft sing what is it a single cleft well I can't it's very hard to see the notes there's a, a dashund um, I've got four of my vacuum cleaner baubles there's one of them next to my personalized ibesic bauble it does light up I don't know if I can do this with one hand um, hang on just you look at that a minute while I turn it on there we go bit disappointed it's a bit look wasn't very happy it arrived like that that's for Marks and Spencer they're still available you, well you can have anything you want on them and on the other side be merry and bright so you can put any name you want on those you know so I put my channel name my big channel name my vacuum cleaner channel name oh there's one of the notes look and uh, various other little there's a dashund there and you've got a camper van here this is now we're going to the unlit part as you can see look if I back off um, <laughs> I've got the presents lit at the bottom but yeah I just can't be bothered and the, um, unfortunately the the new star is far too heavy so I've had to put the old one on oh Daisy's whining about something so I've got some lit presents under the tree but also these glass things I've had a few years these are glass these also light up but I'm gonna to have to well I do have enough rechargeable batteries so I'm going to have all those lit up I might put some of them I'm not gonna have them all down under the tree I might put some on the windowsill or something and then I've just got a few little ornaments I've had these years these were from the chocolate shop in Keswick ye old friars and I believe when I bought them the snowman was sat on a big chocolate coin so there's a couple of those little things and some MSU potpourri and this little wind up Christmas tree that plays I can't remember what it plays hang on ah it plays we wish you a Merry Christmas And then I've got my Nutcracker gentleman. He's also a music box. Let's wind him up. I think that's the nutcracker suite now here's my village I just did this yesterday I have got some little street lamps for this but that light up but they don't um, 
stand up on this snow that I've put down. Oh, and look, see, that little boy playing snowball fights, he's fallen over. It's a bit, oh, crikey, and they're all falling over. Oh, heck. It's the individual figures that are the trouble. Um, oh. oh, dear. Another one's fallen over. They were okay until I stepped near them. So the individual, well, this set, you know, I've got a set of two there. They're fine because they're on a, a base. So I've got a post office. Now these all will light up, but I've had to order a new um, extension lead. Now all but all but one are mains powered. This one, for some reason, the townhouse has a battery. I won't touch it because I'll upset everything. So um, the post office here with a little um, telephone box, the gingerbread house and the church, they all light up mains powered. This is new for this year. I must have bought it last year. When I opened it to put this set out, it was, it was clear that I'd never had it out of the box. So I got it after Christmas, I think. And um, I think it arrived after Christmas. There was delays with the post and stuff, so I didn't put it out. But it was definitely not, it never had been out of the box, I could tell. The others I knew they'd been out of the box because I put them back in the box, but that was still from the factory. So that's a tree. So all these will light up and look very, very festive. I'll just turn the light on. We can might be see them a bit better. Still a bit of a tip in here. Are you going upstairs? Go on then. Go on. So I've got, got my lights. Well, I've only got one light out. I think that'll do for the advent videos. So basically, this, these are all from Belique. And I just added the little figures. Um, I think it's Lex Max or something like that. A company that make the um, little holiday Christmas uh, villages all different things. So I just added, and the figures are about the right scale for the Belique houses. And even the trees I got. There's some bell ringers and the vicar watching. There's a, a father and son collecting wood for the fire. And then there's a little boy on the bench with his dog. He's a bit left on his own there. Boys snowball fighting. And I've also got other trees, you know, oops, focus. Got that little tree and then there's a bigger tree in the back. And then these conifers and a little at the at the back I've got sort of a hedge. So I'm really pleased with that. I think that looks I don't know. I think that looks classy. Um it looks even better when it's all lit up, but I'll show you that all lit up in another video. But that's about it, really. Um, I've got other bits and pieces, but um, I had another accident with a SIBO. Yes, that's got a lot to answer for. It's a fantastic vacuum, but it's just another lamp I've got, which is a big vase. I showed you it in, in the when I was showing you my decorations, the taller vase with the woodland scene. Unfortunately, the SIBO grabbed the lead of that. It's my fault for not clearing it away. But that's not such a tragedy because I've just ordered a little new set of lights that go inside. So that's fine. Bit of a mess still. Um, it's not as bad as it was. By the end of today it'll be tidy. It was tidy um, last night when we were having our main meal with Strictly on because Strictly was on Friday, uh, Sunday this week because of the football. I'm not sure why, because the football wasn't on BBC on Saturday. I don't know why they did that. I've just got to, well, I've got two ready colour fleeces. They need to come off for a wash. They, they're just falling to bits. There's death in May. I'm just uploading a video. Um, well, it's today's advent video, actually, at the time of recording this. So that's just uploading now. How long has it got? If I can have a look. Oh, it's still got 26 minutes. And uh, yeah, there's a bit of a tip. I've got all these big boxes. Now I ordered a pack of four of these large, really useful company boxes to go in the garage. And two of them were all smashed up. Well, the lids were all smashed. I got them from Robert Dias. So um, I complained and they sent me two new ones, which arrived a couple of days ago. 
which were fine. And they said, I can dispose of the other ones. I'm going to still use the broken ones. It's just the lids are broken. They'll still be fine. They just won't be as sort of um, sealed as these ones. And they're not airtight or anything, but you know. So we've got carnage in here because I'm doing some baking. Just empty the dishwasher, which I'll be filling with <laughs> baking stuff. It's such a mess. I need to be more organized with my baking. I've got a new, I've got a new toy folks. Well, I haven't shown, I've made a video of my very first coffee and walnut cake. I'll show that next year, but I'm using this new toy I got. It's a Tefal cake factory. So, oh, it gets hot. I've got 22 minutes. So with the Tefal Cake Factory, you've got various programs. You make cakes, um, you can also make desserts in this particular one. And it's on the automatic program. Um, I'm making my very first cake in this, which is a, a marble cake. Let me just show you. Chocolate, I don't know if it's gonna be very marbled because you were supposed to with this. There it is, that's what it should look like if you can just about see. Um, you were supposed to divide once you've made the mixture, which involved a lot of different processes, <laughs> you know, more difficult to make this than the, the coffee walnut cake. That was an all in one mix. This one involved whisk, separating the egg yolk from the whites and then whisking the egg whites separately and then adding the sugar to the yolk and mixing those together and then adding flour and milk. I've used soya milk. Um, what a faff, but anyway, I'm trying it in my cake factory using the big pan. There's a several different things come with it, but I'm using the sort of big pan. So it'll cut up into sort of oblong or square cakes. Um, well, they're cutting it like that. So that's probably what I'll do. If it looks like that, I'll show you it at the end of the video, but we've got 21 minutes to go and then I've got to cool it obviously so yeah this is all the aftermath now fortunately because i bought an extra bowl for my kenwood that's the bowl that came with it and i also bought this glass bowl so i whisked the egg whites in there and did the other mixing in in the metal bowl but as you can see it's all clear. it'll all clear up a little most of this will clear up in five minutes i've just done a load of washing and I've got to hang, I've got not, I'm not, <laughs> I say, got to hang it out. I'm not hanging it out. Um, you might be able to see why I'm not hanging it out. Um, but that's got to go in the dryer. Can't have it sort of hanging around. I did treat myself and put the heating on for an hour this morning. And the hot water needed to go on because I did have a shower in the morning and it wasn't too hot. So, um, yeah, the dishwasher needs just been emptied. And it's going to be half full again by the time I've put all my baking stuff in. These are the two other boxes. You see what I mean? They were broken. Just the lids. I've had these broken before. But anyway, they're still stack. I can still stack them even though they're broken. That's broken. But I can still use them, so be fine. And the, the this is just the box, one of the boxes that the two came in. So that just needs, it's a good useful box. There's more than one box there. So I'll flat pack those and use those. I've done a bit of rearranging in my cupboards here. I've had to put the vintage 70s Hornsey in with the day-to-day -day Denby um, because I've made some, some space in here. I still don't know where to put my Kenwood Chef though. I had to make some extra space in the bottom for my new cake factory, which I've hidden from Mark. I haven't told him I've got that. I will be making um, a little video Hopefully today I'm getting a nice um, round Christmas tablecloth to go on this table and I'm going to filming, film myself building my own holiday tree. This was from John Lewis, another mishap over things I've ordered online because when I opened this it didn't come with any of the decorations. Well, in fact that reminds me I need to contact John Lewis again. I don't know if we can focus in, let's go, to, to, go towards the light, there we go those candy decorations now this is made in usa and canada <laughs> and it's from john lewis but those decorations were not in the box so i complained and they said they can send me another one or refund and i'm just going to get a refund because by the it took long enough to arrive and with the postal strikes we're having there's no point so today i'm getting a few sort of sprinkly things from amazon that will just 
replace those so so I've had to buy out you know I've had to pay out for the extra sprinkles but I'll be getting my money back on that I've also got my Lakeland doodah oh it's a bit of a mess I showed you this earlier didn't I if you saw that video so I've got to make that as well so I've got the gingerbread house and I'll have the ma a matching tree next to it these uh just move all this out of the way these belong in the Tefal cake factory so these are if I was to make little individual cakes I was going to and then I saw the marble cake and I thought I'd make that but probably would have been easier to make the little Victoria sponge cakes that I saw the recipe for um, but anyway so you get these with it, these little ones. You also get some round ones as well, if I can find them. Where did I put them? Where have I put my little round ones? Oh, here they are. So you get these little, so you can make little round, you know, little muffins or whatever, buns. So they just slot into this um, base thing. You could make a mixture, you know, you could just, if you wanted, all stuck together. So you get the idea, you could, I could, you know, well, I could do three of each, that would be better, wouldn't it? Could do three muffins and three little mini cakes. I've also ordered that probably, well, I'll, I'll do another video on this cake factory when all the other stuff, I've, you can buy all different um, inserts, um, little Madeline or Madeline, is it Madeline? Cake molds, they look like shells. So I've got some of those coming. Um, and sort of a dome shaped ones as well. So you can buy various little um, tins for this and um, you can get silicone. This is, the, this is the model that does desserts as well. And it's a bit different from the first cake factory um, because you can't put the silicon um, containers in this new cake factory without an additional um, rack thing, which I've also ordered. It's from Tefal, it comes from France, so I'm not sure when that's going to turn up. So yes, I'm um, hoping, well, by, I'm going to open this in 14 minutes in this video, and um, obviously I'll show you it all, do, you know, cooled, and might even cut a piece. But uh, yeah, it's another thing that saves energy, apparently because you can make a cake in this and it's supposed to be a lot more economical than putting on your big oven so that's that's the plan anyway is there anything else to chat to you about i wonder so as you can see it's all a bit it's not as bad as it has been i have to admit it's a lot tidier i mean it's going to be t five minutes i mean i've just got these two two boxes they just need to be flat packed for recycling um Normally my studio light isn't out. There's my little advents in the corner there. Just a little bit of mess to clear up the boxes. So that the boxes are to go in the garage. So, you know, I can have all downstairs tidy within half an hour for sure. Um, and it's getting a bit better upstairs as well, isn't it? Days in May. But um, still a bit, you know, it's a work in progress. Um, it's just bits and bobs that need to be taken upstairs oh this is something I was going to show you actually oh there's my there's my little tree I can turn it on hang on um, I've got two things on it well we've got I've uh, there's no timer on this hang on you can't see what I'm doing there we go there's no timer on these little lights that's it's, it's a bit big for that but anyway i've at least used it um on this little wooden tree but these are old lights and i have to manually turn them on and off there's a timer on these ones there's a parcel there for collection i've sold a few bits on ebay but and most of them didn't sell and they're only little things so one person bought two items so that's good i boxed them up together gave them a bit of a discount on the postage so I'm expecting Simon from Every, formerly Hermes, to bring me a little delivery today. So he'll take that, although it's only due for, it's due for collection tomorrow, but it's very good. He'll take it today because he's delivering today. So 
saves him coming back. Um, and I've been sorting other stuff. I'm gonna, I'll probably give the carpet a quick shampoo, just a quick going over once it's all tidy. Um, so it's not, you know, in a couple of days, all downstairs will be all nice and tidy anyway, and I'll, I'm working on upstairs as well. Um, been sorting out my vitamins. Well, this is just, well, this is my, I do have more than this, but this is my sort of back stock, you know, that I need to find somewhere to put. Um, there's a little fabric box there. That's got my vitamins that I sort of take day, well, with my vitamins, I tend to make up a week's worth into those pill boxes and I get the stock from there and then when it all runs out in there I go to my big supply are you alright Daisy? she's been a bit odd today you okay? hmm? there's still a few vitamins I need to take I think um, um, so um, there's a few gaps I take supplements as well black seed oil now that I'm still on the regular strength because I've just only started taking these a month or so ago and I bought a kit that had um, regular strong and super strength and it, they reckon you should start off on the sort of the regular and build up. So apparently black seed oil cures everything except death. Um, I don't know if it's working but anyway I take them. That's just some vitamin C powder lots of zinc lozenges i keep i must they're supposed to be sucked on you know zinc and vitamin c lozenge we see that's the strong strong black seed oil capsules so as i say i'm on the regular at the moment when they're all used up i'll go on to the strong and then when they're used all up uh, they're used up i'll go on to the super strength and then subsequently i'll just buy the super strength because my body is built up i'll never go without these these are I would certainly recommend, I'll put a link below, I got this from Amazon, I would definitely recommend this, oregano oil, it's nature's, um, what's the word, that, what's the thing you take that you shouldn't take a lot of because it ruins your stomach, um, bacteria, antibiotic, that's it, this is nature's antibiotic, um, immune support, this is definitely excellent now mark's still coughing and spluttering with a cold from weeks at least three weeks he's been doing it i caught something um so i thought right let's i doubled what i doubled my oregano i normally take one but i doubled i took two i got over mine within two days now it might be this i don't know it could be my immune system stronger but i believe that the oregano oil helped so I would recommend this supplement to you, but do your own research, don't take my word for it, check first. But this seems to be a good one. It can repeat on you if you're not careful. The way to avoid that I've found is to take it about 15 minutes before a meal, preferably with water. You could have juice, I suppose, not with a hot drink. Um, so take it with a big glass of um, a cold drink before a meal and then eat your meal and then it doesn't sort of repeat it's you know sometimes it does repeat but it's not so bad it's you know uh, if I can start tasting it I just drink some more water but I thoroughly recommend oregano oil for many ailments just the general immune booster but there's so many other things in here I t always take iod iodine um, every day this is um, from Scottish seaweed um, oh, there's all sorts of different things in here. Turmeric is another thing. I haven't started taking that again. I need to start taking that. Anyway, you, you can research all, you know. Don't Just don't take my word for it. Uh, there is a lot of these because I used to buy them every time I did an Ocado shop and it was on a three for offer. Um, got magnesium. There's all sorts in there. I mean, yes some people say oh, there's no need to take them but i've i've only seen a doctor once in my adult life and that was for a physical thing um on my elbow so 
as far as other things go I've, I've been pretty lucky but this oh i can smell that cake i can smell it it does smell like a cake folks i like this company actually they're not cheap um british supplements but they they're supposed to be no fillers no binders whatever i can't remember why i take these <laughs> but i take them for some reason msm ashwagandha that is ideal for my mood mark's even taking it since taking ashwagandha i'm nowhere near as moody as i was or down i still have my moments but on the whole i'm a lot more daisy stop whining i think she thinks it's something to eat um i'm a lot more calm and and zen no you can't eat this daisy no vitamin d and k that's especially important in the winter months when you're not getting any sun oh that's just my um iodine out of the packet boron um that's good for hair and nails and other reasons i can't remember why i, I decided to take boron always take turmeric turmeric's another if i could only take two well if i could only take three oh there's a van outside i wonder if i'm oh no it's going i thought i was getting delivery if i could only take three supplements it would be turmeric black seed oil and oregano oil capsules the turmeric is anti-inflammatory i take two of those a day that's almost empty that's just that's from ebay not ebay amazon nutra vita so it's a reasonable price um so I always take those. Garlic is a, another good supplement to take, uh, which I do take. I take the garlic. I split all my supplements throughout the day, and the garlic is something I take sort of last thing. I don't take that first thing in the morning. And I don't know if this is an odorless garlic. Um, so I, I sort of tend to take that at the end of the day. I'm just using up this. This is nearly gone. It's just a multi silica complex for hair, healthy hair, skin, and nails. That's that's some Holland and Barrett. I wouldn't recommend going there in future. Well, I won't go there in future. Um, it's up to you where you buy yours from. Oh, and that's uh, I've got so many different things. I mean, I bought some supplements for specific ailment, and I never started taking them. I'm just worried about taking too many. Oh, I've got another quercetin. Um, there's some, you see, I don't even know what that, I do know why I've taken, got these, but there's a, there's a protocol I was going to follow for those ones. But yes, do your research, folks, but I would certainly recommend turmeric every day. It's just turmeric, black pepper, ginger. Obviously, you need to check if you're taking any medications before you start taking any multivitamins or supplements. But that's a good go-to. One or two of those a day. Definitely the black seed oil. And there's a company called the Black Seed Oil Company. That's where I bought mine from. Um, and um, if, you've, if you ever have mood problems, if you get a bit down... You just want to balance if if you just feel hopeless sometimes it's not an antidepressant don't get me wrong it's for me it, it just sort of if i don't take it now i know i think oh crikey i start getting agitated and angry with everybody and then i suddenly realize oh hang on i haven't taken my ashwagandha for a few days whether or not it's the ashwagandha or not i don't know but you can research this go it just type in these things I'm showing you and do your own research and decide whether they might help you but I think they help me anyway iodine as well is good but if you if you just want to take a general multivitamin just try and get the best don't go to super drug or um, the pound land or a supermarket owned one you do your research and get a really good spend a bit more if you can and that will possibly help you know because we're not getting enough especially in the winter we're not we're certainly not getting vitamin d in the winter so anyway that's that's dr roger giving some advice based on my own experience as i said i'm never going to tell you what to do um you can research i've i've you know i've never taken anybody's advice unless i've re no you know i do take advice but i don't take it I don't believe just one source. I will go to other places. I'll hear things 
It's like now I'm trying to get rid of seed oil from a diet slowly. It's very hard. But I get got so many nudges from various different sources kept coming up. I had no idea about seed oil being bad for you. Um, you know, sunflower oil, rapeseed oil. Um, most of the oils are bad for you. Black seed oil is a supplement that's good. And olive oil is good. And coconut oil. Basically, olive oil and coconut oil. I think palm oil is okay as well. Because again, that's not processed like the sunflower oil and all the others. But there's issues over palm oil, obviously. Um, so some people might want to avoid it. Still got, oh no, it's got seconds. Oh heck, I don't know what to do when it finishes. I didn't really read the instructions for this because, um, well, I didn't. I worked it out. I'm assuming, I, I, I'm just going to take it out. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Hang on. Uh, oops, don't fall on the floor. Ooh, I don't know what it's going to be like. Oh, it's all right. Turn it off. It's dipped a bit. Yeah, it's not um, not as marbled as I thought it should. Well, I don't know what it's going to be like until I cut it, but it's not going to look as marbled, I don't think, because I, I put I didn't divide the mixture. You're supposed to divide the mixture equally into two, and then half of the mixture you put in vanilla extract, and the other half you put the cocoa powder. But I think it was. Um, a bit cocoa powder heavy so it's going to be more brown than white in there so um what i'm going to do i'll put the camera down get that out put it on a cooling rack and then at the end of the video i'll cut a slice and we'll see what it looks like well here's my marble cake not quite the same as the picture it's not risen as much so i'm going to try a bit of it Hmm. Very nice. So, not bad. And I think the next thing I make in this uh, cake factory, I'll do some little individual cakes. The individual um, sponge with jam in. Now, where are they? These. Try and get this. There we go. Oh, gonna have some more of that. Oh, it's the end piece especially, yummy. Mmm. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Mm. Right then. Oh yeah, Daisy wants her treat. It's about midday, so you can have it. Hang on. Mm. I've started. I mean, it doesn't look much different. I have started clearing away. I have got some stuff in the dishwasher you know um daisy's wanting one of these because it is oh i'm gonna have to have another piece another bite of that mm. oh. right she's no teeth at the front but she does manage to eat one of these that's what you've been after all morning, isn't it? Oh, for goodness sake. Take it. That's it. Off you go. I'll quickly nip upstairs and give Molly hers. My Amazon delivery for today should be arriving imminently. Oh, that was what I was going to show you before I go. It's Christmas related. Oh, sick. Fuck us. I need to give her... A good vacuuming up here. Hello, Mole. Look what look what I've got for you. Ooh. Oh, darling, Molly Moo. She will eat it. Oh, just some boxes to go in the garage. Oh, doodly doodly doodly. I just to show you this to fight to finish this video. Unfortunately, I had I had some of these in my basket. I got these from John Lewis. I think you can get them from Amazon as well. Turn the light on. These are called, where should we put them here? 
These are called sensicles. I don't know if that's the best place to show you them actually. <laughs> Anyway, they're called sensicles and there's a fir, white winter fir and spiced pine cones. I want, there's one that smells more like a Christmas tree and they were on offer in John Lewis and um, I put them in the basket. By the time I went to, to purchase, it sold out of the Christmas tree. So I've got the fir one. You get six in the jar, I think. But um, how many? Do I, I think I've put three. You won't need all six unless you've got a huge, huge room. Can't undo it. Well, I'll show you one on the tree if I can find it. They hide in the tree and provide a lovely fragrance if you have got uh, an artificial tree. Where's it gone? <laughs> they're green, they're exactly the same green as the tree. So I did hang one lower down and I hung one around the back here, I think. Whoops. Ooh, watch me glass parcels. Um, oh, crikey, where is it? I can't find it. I can show you one, though, because I've got one on my little tree in the hall. Uh, I don't want to touch it because it's sort of got the... Oh, well, I'll have to try and move the tree. Hang on. Oh, dear. Right, can you see? There it is. You get the hooks and the, the fragrance sticks and they're very strong. So I did notice when we'd been to my mum's on Saturday and we came home, I could definitely smell it. When you're in, in the house a lot and you've got a fragrance thing, you often don't smell it, do you, yourself after a while? But certainly in the morning and when we come into the room, you can smell it on the tree. So they're really good if you've if you want a nice Christmassy smell, don't want to burn candles, um, they can just hide on the tree. I don't think, you know, you can reuse them. Keep them sealed up. But yes, you don't need to put the whole thing because they are fairly strong. Try it with a couple to start with and see how you get on. If you want more fragrance, you can just put some more on the tree. So yes, for a Christmas scent, get Scentsicles. Well, that's the end of my catch-up vlog. I hope you're still enjoying the Advent videos. Today's one has just gone online about midday. So uh, there's that for you to watch. Well, hopefully you'll have seen that by now because I always put my other videos out after. So I'm trying to get my um, Advent videos out at noon and I've done it every day apart from one day when I was a bit late. But so far I've been okay with uh, getting them out for you all to see on the day so hope you're still enjoying those i quite enjoy making them and uh, plan to make more of them next year so for me and my last piece of marble cake well obviously i'll be eating a lot more than this but uh, the last piece of the first slice um thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you all soon for the next video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon and then you'll be notified every time I put a new video out for you to look at. So, until then, I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.